What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be going over how to set up the Fast and the Furious supercars in Techno Parrot. This took me forever to figure out and I saw a lot of misinformation on the interwebs when I was looking for ways to get this done. So with a lot of experimentation and intermittent drips of information, I was able to put things together and figure this out. But the first and most important thing is that you wanna have the FNF SC directory in your root folder and you want it to be labeled exactly like that. There are two things here. One, if you don't label it as that, you will get graphical errors or black boxes on the screen at random times. And the second thing is do not have a raw art folder anywhere in your root directory or the Fast and Furious Supercars will not boot. We're gonna prep the game and get it ready. So first thing you do once you've got the FNF SC in your root folder is go in there and you're going to click the exe file and make sure you set it as administrator. I do this to the launcher file as well. I don't think you have to, but I, I just do it to be on the safe side. Now make sure you don't have any user profiles already there for FNFSC and then go ahead and add the game. Once you've added the game, you're gonna wanna go into the game settings and you're gonna wanna make sure that you select windowed mode and frame limited. Selecting windowed mode will allow us to launch the game without having any direct 3D errors because the resolution isn't correctly set. Make sure you save that and then back out and go into the controller setup. And the only thing that you need to do right now is just set up your test button. Once you've assigned your test button, go ahead, save, back out of that. And then we're gonna be able to launch the game for the first time. Once you launch it, you should see the loader pop up and then you'll go right into the game. As soon as you're in the game, go ahead and press whichever button you assign to the test mode and it should boot you into the system setup. Once you're inside of here, there are various options that you can actually make adjustments to, like your miles per hour or other things that you might wanna change like bonus points and things like that. If you go into the utilities menu, you can also reset player stats and clear high scores. But the most important setting, the most crucial setting that you wanna do right now is you want to go into system adjustments and make sure that you select yes for screen stretch. This is going to allow the screen to natively stretch to 1080p so that the game can be played properly as it would have been on an actual arcade screen that was running at 1080p. Now you can exit out and let it sit on the rebooting screen for about five seconds before you escape. Then you're gonna wanna make sure that you go back into game settings, uncheck windowed mode, save that, and back out. This is optional and may vary depending on what GPU you're running, but I recommend this for Nvidia users. I'm only running a 1660 on this particular setup, but these are the settings that I'm using and they make the game look just right. So just go ahead and add your EXE file for FNF Supercars to your list of programs in the NVIDIA control panel. Copy the exact settings I have here and it should smooth everything out. Once you've got all that done, we are ready to go. So make sure you hit that apply button so it saves everything. And then go ahead and go back to Techno Parrot. Make sure you set all your controls up now and save those settings. Once you've saved those settings, go ahead and back out of your controller setup and launch your game. Now the game should boot up 
without any issues or hangups and should go full screen with no problem in 1080p. Once you get into the game, if you're still experiencing graphical issues like black lines across the road or something like that, you probably have a bad dump of the game. My biggest suggestion is look for a full Techno Parrot build. There's places like Arcade Punks and stuff like that. Go with a full build, download the whole thing, and then pull the game file from that build. That was the only way I was able to find a good dump. So let's go ahead and check out a little bit of gameplay so you guys can see how it looks, how it runs, and uh, see that there's no issues with it. The controls work great and everything. Sorry at the beginning, um, I'm not really paying attention because I was looking at other things while I was driving, but the controls work really well and you don't need to do any calibrating really at all. I'm using a PXN steering wheel. You can get those off of Amazon. I hope that this was helpful for you guys and enjoy a working Fast and Furious Supercars, which is basically a hybrid of the original Tokyo Drift and then with added tracks and some different cars.